Aircraft stall can cause danger to the passengers and to aircraft itself. Using stall recovery procedure, aircraft can be recovered from the stall. Pilots need to be skillful for that. But take an example of Colgan Air Flight 3407. In 2009, Bombardier Dash 8Q400 entered in deep aerodynamic stall. This stall caused 50 fatalities and 4 injuries. Hence to reduce stress on pilot in a case of such deep stall, aircraft nerds have come up with this system. Before explaining about this system, let's know how deep stall occurs and why is it so dangerous? Aircraft stall is a condition when an airflow detaches from the aircraft wing. Flow separation results in loss of lift. Aircraft starts losing its altitude. There are mainly two reasons for the flow separation. One reason is slow airflow velocity. Slow airflow loses its energy due to friction on the wing. This results in flow separation. Another reason is when wing exceeds angle of attack known as critical angle of attack. Airflow detaches from the wing surface and aircraft stalls. In stall, wake of the wing is produced. To recover from stall, first thing pilot do is, reduce the pitch angle of the aircraft. This reduces angle of attack of the wing. Once angle of attack is reduced sufficiently, pilot increases the engine thrust to increase aircraft speed. Why is deep stall dangerous? As explained earlier, stall produces wake of the wing. But most importantly, the thing which makes deep stall dangerous is, ineffectiveness of aircraft elevator. In deep stall, wing is completely stalled. Wake of the wing disturbs the flow over aircraft tail. Which makes elevator located on the tail of the aircraft ineffective. Elevator is a control surface which controls the pitching moment of the aircraft. Due to ineffectiveness of the elevator, pilot cannot reduce the pitch angle of aircraft. It becomes difficult to recover from deep stall. Here comes the aircraft nerd's deep stall recovery system. This is simply designed system. Which can be installed on the aircraft without making much modification. System consists of MEMS pressure sensors for the detection of the stall. At the instant when aircraft wing enters stall, pressure disturbances will be detected by these sensors. These signals will be sent to the microcontroller. Aircraft are installed with various panels for maintenance purpose. Few such panels are also located just behind the elevator. These panels can be replaced with new customized panels. This customized panel will consist of small centrifugal fans. These small fans will be activated, once pressure disturbance is detected by the pressure sensors. Fan rotation speed can be controlled by microcontroller. This will create forced airflow over elevator. Hence it will make ineffective elevator effective again. Now pilot can pitch down the aircraft and recover aircraft from the stalling condition. MEMS pressure sensors on wing are small in size. They won't affect airflow much. Horizontal tail will have small air duct for creation of the forced flow. These ducts will also restrict the spanwise flow over horizontal tail. And hence reducing induced drag. So by